Good evening. Um, the first speaker of this block is Richard Nally, and he will tell us about supersymmetric flux vacuum and Calabria modularity. Please. Um, hi, everyone. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for the introduction. And uh, thank you to the organizers for setting up this very interesting conference and for inviting me to speak. Um, so I'm going to be telling you about some recent work with Shamit Katru and Wenjie Yang. Um, and I guess first I will start with my elevator pitch. Um, uh, ooh. So here we have my uh, collaborators, Shamit and Wenjie. Um, and so the basic setting um, for this talk is going to be um, compactification of 10-dimensional string theory down to four dimensions on a Calabi-L threefold. Um, and for concreteness, the Calabio threefold is a compact Ricci flat Kähler manifold. Um, so usually in this context, we view the Calabios as objects in complex geometry. And we talk about things like periods and holomorphic freeforms. Um, and that's taught us a lot about string theory. Um, we've learned about string dualities, mirror symmetry, strongly coupled field theories from looking at singular threefolds. It's taught us a lot. Um, but on the other hand, there's another point of view in math, um, which is currently pretty trendy, which is arithmetic geometry, where we view some of the same objects as being defined not over the complex um, numbers, but instead over the rational numbers. And this is the setting for some, some major buzzwords in recent math, like the Langlands conjectures and Fermat's last theorem and other things of that nature. And, and given how central arithmetic geometry has been to a lot of important developments in math, it's quite natural to ask whether it's ever related to string theory at all. Um, and uh, of course, because I asked the, that question, I'm obligated to tell you that the answer is yes. Um, and, and in this talk, I'm going to argue that subject to some mild assumptions, um, supersymmetric flux compactifications over the rational numbers are modular. And during the course of the talk, I'm going to tell you a lot more about what that means. But roughly speaking, if you have a, a polynomial defined over the rational numbers, um, you, can, you can do point counts. You can reduce the equation over finite fields and count how many solutions it has. And when I say the threefold is modular, what I mean is these point counts will encode the Fourier coefficients of a type of modular form called weight two eigenforms. Um, and I think this is a pretty exciting link between string theory and a uh, pretty central area of modern math. Um, and I should say now that this ties into a rich history of, of literature in, in string theory itself, um, starting with arithmetic and attractors and extending to more recent work by Candelis et al., as well as several papers by my collaborator, Wen Jiang. Yang. And so throughout this talk, I'm going to be returning to one example, which is the Calabio threefold in P11222, uh, which is defined as the vanishing of this projective polynomial. Um, and this is a great example for us to think about um, because number one, we know it admits continuously many supersymmetric flux compactifications. As long as psi is zero, we have a flux compactification for any value of this parameter phi. Um, and also, um, the point counts on this threefold are known. In general, computing point counts for Calabria threefolds is quite a difficult problem. Um, but in this case, it's already been done for us, so we can just look at the point counts that are already known. And so, as I told you on the last slide, um, for every rational value of this parameter phi, we expect the point counts to encode the Fourier coefficients of a weight two eigenform. And, and here I have a representative sample of some rational values of phi. And indeed you can see here that based on the known point counts, we were able to find a weight two eigenform for every rational phi we checked. And so it's sort of interesting, um, weight two eigenforms, in addition to it being associated to supersymmetric flux compactifications, are also associated to elliptic curves defined over the rationals. Um, and it turns out that these elliptic curves for each value of phi, sorry, these modular forms for each value of phi exactly agree with the elliptic curve associated to this family, sorry, the modular form associated to the elliptic curve in this family at the appropriate value of phi. And this family of elliptic curves, I'll show you later on, appears fairly naturally in the F-theory picture of the flux compactification. 
So while we all know that F theory is related to the complex geometry of the threefold and the flux compactification, it also knows something about the arithmetic geometry of those threefolds, which I think is sort of interesting. Um, so that was my elevator pitch. Um, and I guess now I'll get started.